The people gathered here are part of an APS review workshop to help bring about lasting change in the Australian public service. The bottom line is change doesn't happen because it's in a recommendation or in a, in a great beautiful glossy. It doesn't happen because the secretary says so, it doesn't happen because the prime minister says so. It happens because we, the APS, want to make ourselves a service that delivers for the people. If I can have your attention please. These people are from more than 20 different federal departments and agencies. 380 public servants applied to attend and have their say. Only 60 got in. There's deputy secretaries in the room, there's graduates, um, everyone's being treated equal and, uh, equally and everyone's contributing ideas uh, and it's a very comfortable environment to contribute ideas. And I think that is the strength, is that the different perspectives and the points of view. The APS review has travelled across the country, listening both inside the APS and externally. There have been more than 700 submissions. This meeting was an opportunity to look closely at priorities for change in the service as well as how they're driven and maintained. To have the people that we have in the room, there's so many passionate people, uh, so many passionate uh, public servants and so to hear the sorts of things that are coming out and such differing views but all of us have the same vision is that we just want to make what we do better. The day was about fostering creative thinking and possibilities. The public servants involved were there because they have a background in change and a passion for its potential. Their enthusiasm wasn't echoed by everyone in the room, but he's been leading the way for a long time. With a vertical slice of the APS, we've got such diverse experience and we've got people who have been in and out of the APS. The different levels of experience and age in the group uh, brings a really great perspective to what is needed and what people think is needed. People at this workshop were excited about making changes to the service so it can deliver for the country well into the future. They explored reasons that attracted people like themselves into the public service and they prioritised the proposals for action based on their impact and challenges. And despite the focus, they also had fun. I think it's important to rem remain always critical of where you are at, no matter even if it improves, that it is a continual process that you need to stay on top of. The workshop vividly highlighted that these people weren't just from a specific department, but were all Australian public servants with a common goal. The public service is actually quite diverse with doing many things and many activities. Uh, and it's getting an appreciation of those different activities that happen in different areas where different agencies face different issues and different challenges um, than what we do. It was a dynamic day, providing ideas from on-the-ground public servants as to how change in the APS can be made to last. I think there's no doubt that people are really passionate about their, their work for the, the public service and, and they really want to be, they're committed to the public service and so they want to be part of shaping the future of the service. The APS review will hand down its report and recommendations by the middle of the year. But it's not the report that really matters. It's the movement, it's the change program, it's the collective impact that we can make across the service to improve us, not for our sake, but so that we can deliver better services to people we can help solve the problems that Australia needs solved and we can deliver better service to governments today, tomorrow and, and after that.